Hello, I'm Ted Baer, publisher of MovieGuide.org. And I'm Evie Bear Carroll, his daughter, so this is your family guide to movies and entertainment. Call of the Wild. You saw Call of the Wild, right? This is now Fox, which is now Disney's version of Call of the Wild, and it has Harrison Ford in it, because we need Harrison Ford in this big, movie. Big star. <laughs> and it has a dog in it that's just adorable. His name is Buck. If you read the classic book, this is I a... I had to at school. Oh yeah, we all had to, pretty much. It was an American classic. But Buck gets captured. He gets taken to uh, Alaska. He gets put into a sled dog group that's taking the mail. And he becomes rivals with the alpha dog. The alpha dog is a mean, vicious dog that's not nice to any of the other dogs. And Buck stands up for the other dogs. He cares about them. He's compassionate. Call of the Wild, though, if you read the book, if you know the story, um, you know, he's being called into the wild. Believe yeah, but, it or not. But what does Harrison Ford do? So Harrison Ford is actually later in the movie, but he meets Buck and he's the one that's very compassionate to him and they have this bond and they have this relationship that he's kind of never had with a human before. And so the movie talks about respecting animals, being loving towards animals. It's portrayed in a very good way, uh, like a biblical way on how to treat animals and the beauty of nature and animals. But you know, Call of the Wild, remember the classic, like I keep saying, in this movie, it doesn't necessarily have, you know, a super Christian worldview. It does have a moral worldview in terms of Buck is compassionate towards the others and caring towards the others, um, but he's being called into the wild instead of being the civilized dog that he is. What age group can watch this movie? Well, I honestly would say maybe 10 and up, maybe a little older. The thing is, it is have some scary moments. The movie is really well done, so it's got a lot of jeopardy throughout. It moves well, it flows well, um, but there is a lot of CGI to it. The dog is CGI. Why does the dog have to be CGI? Where can I find out more? Go to movieguide.org for the full review of Call of the Wild. Adventure of a Lifetime.